Pizza goals and smack them a gob. We got a donation here. Oh man, where the fuck is the page now? I done messed up. Uh, Kevin Kaler. Uh, he wanted to put uh, Vangina's live album right here, right now, versus the Tokyo Dome. Now, for those that do watch my videos, you are aware that Vangina can't stand. Probably the worst band ever. I mean, yeah, I can think of a couple other ones, but uh, where Van Halen, the real Van Halen, is one of the best bands ever. I would say it's the best band ever formed in America. But, um, so, look, I'm not going to, you know, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and, uh, you know, I mean, you all know already. And it's not because I'm biased, and I will prove it, but there's not a point Van Gine is going to get on here. And, yes... I am aware Dave sounds like complete crap on most of these songs, not all of them. But if I was biased, I wouldn't admit that, would I? The band, though, is on fire, man. I mean, they are really tight and ruling on this. And it's obvious this is not touched up in the studio. I mean, come on. Uh, where I understand right here, right now is, but... I don't care about stuff like that because most of my favorite live albums are touched up in the studio. So uh, I'm telling you, this would have been way better if it was touched up in the studio. But whatever. Let's do this, all right? Uh, Pound Cake sucks. I hate that fucking song. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how Dave sounds in all these songs and the band for the most part. Uh, and uh, it opens with Unchained and... Uh, Dave sounds okay on this song till the end. Then it starts sounding like a, you know, a sick frog. Um, but it wins. E everything wins. Sammy Hagar, right here, right now, doesn't get a point. So I'm not even going to go into that. This is a clean sweep. And I did listen to most of it. Most of right here, right now, I mean, I had to, you know, go to the next song here and there because, you know, come on, man. You have to pay me way more to sit through all that shit. All right, next is uh, Judgment Day. I can't stand that song. And, and I remember a shout-out to Freeform Rock Podcast talking about, man, this is like the heaviest Van Halen song, which is cool for them to think that, but they're not the only ones that think that. I've heard other people say it, too. I feel differently. Yeah, I, I, I think on fire, light up the sky. I mean, they... Way heavier than that shit. That shit just sounds processed and try hard. It sucks. And that goes against Running With The Devil. Uh, Dave sounds fine on this, but it's because he talks his way through it, which I wish he did through this whole damn album. You know, talking through it, it's, it doesn't sound like, you know, he was just shot in, with a BB gun in the throat. Um, you know, talking, talking helps. All right, the next one... Uh, when it's love sucks and it loses against uh, She's a Woman. I think Dave sounds fine. I mean, not great, but he sounds fine on it. Later on, it gets really bad. Um, next is Spanked. No, thank you. Loses against I'm the One. Here, Dave sounds fucking rough. Here, he sounds really bad. But the band is fucking killing it. King Edward, man, and Wolfie, man. Wolfie's very underrated. People can't get over the fact that, you know, Michael Anthony wasn't there. So they, so they refuse to listen to what Wolfie's doing on the bass. Hey, I prefer Michael Anthony in the band as well. Trust me. Believe me. But, you know, I'm not this person that looks at through rose-colored glasses and doesn't notice that Wolfgang is technically a better bass player than Michael Anthony. Let's see Michael Anthony. Show me anywhere where he can do what Wolfgang does in the beginning of Chinatown. That's Billy Sheehan type shit. All right. And, I, and you know what? If you want to argue with me about it, go right ahead. I'm not going to reply because I think you're wrong. You think I'm wrong. So we have that in common. All right. Um, oh, boy. And I listened to this, too. 
Ain't talking about love with Sammy on vocals. You want to talk about horrible. See, here's the thing. I will take David Lee Roth on here, like, and I'm on the one, croaking like a dead frog, a dying frog, over Sammy at his best. And this proves it to me, man. I've never heard this shit before. Sammy doing Ain't Talking About Love on this live album. No, there's no attitude. There's no, it's just milk toast crap. The guy just doesn't have it to me. I hate his voice. I really do. His voice annoys me. What Yoko Ono does to you, Sammy Hagar does to me. Well, Yoko does it to me too, don't get me wrong. Anyway, all right. Uh, tattoo. Uh, Dave sounds rough uh, when he ain't talking his way through it. When he talks through it, it's fine. When he starts with the, ugh, it's bad. Almost Sammy Hagar bad. All right. Next. In and out. Fuck you. Uh, against. Uh, oh, everybody wants some. Oof. Dave is fucking horrible on this one. I mean, horrible. You know, and that spoken word he does. And he starts speaking Japanese. I don't know, man. I mean, there was a time and place for David Lee Roth when he was young and he was awesome live. You know, it's just that time has passed. Time... Even if Dave had still had his voice and he was doing this shit, it would have worked in the 80s. It just doesn't work today. It's horrible, but it still wins. Uh, dreams, oof, versus uh, somebody get me a doctor. Dave sounds good on this till the end. Then it goes off the cliff. All right, next is Man on a Mission. Uh, yeah, I said this before, yeah. Sammy was on a mission to destroy Van Halen and Mission Accomplished. And that goes against Chinatown. Uh, you know, Dave doesn't even sound good on this in the studio version, to tell you the truth. So here it's no different than the studio version. But damn, what Ed and Wolf are doing on this song, and Alex, the band is just... See, listening to the Sammy Hagar era, and it has nothing to do with Sammy Hagar, it's just the band doesn't sound, doesn't have that fire. It's like, they seem to have fire now, you know, with this shit. And, and another thing I want to say, a lot of people like to say, oh, stop blaming Sammy, it's Eddie's fault too. You know what, I'll take it a step further. It's David Lee Ross' fault as well. David Lee Ross' ego, he left the band, there would have never been a Vangina if it wasn't for Dave's ego. So, you know, there, you know so take away your stupid uh, opinion on me on bias, because you're fucking wrong. Next one is called Ultra Bass, Ultra Annoying. Uh, against, hear about it later. Dave sounds as shitty as Sammy on a good day on this one. Ooh, it's bad. But the band, again, sounds great. Uh, Pleasure Dome slash drum solo slash boring. Uh, against, oh, oh, uh, pretty woman where uh, Dave is passable, but... Unlike the other songs and every other song on here, I think the backing vocals suck on Pretty Woman on Tokyo Dome. Where I think, you know, a lot of people were saying, oh, they're using Michael Anthony's voice in the, in the tapes. That's bullshit. I mean, haven't you ever heard Classic Van Halen before? Classic Van Halen Live? You can tell, and by the way, part of the greatest backing vocals ever, Michael Anthony. I don't hear Michael Anthony's in those backing vocals. And they are fine. They're not as good as the Michael years, but, you know, they are fine, except for Pretty Woman. It sounds horrible. Band sounds good, though. Um, Panama. Again, Sammy doing, not only that, but actually doing a little rap in the middle. You know, the, the part where Dave says, ease the seat back. Did I write down any of the stupid shit he said? Um... No, I just said, you know, it's beyond, um, it's beyond weak. That's all I, that's all I wrote. And it cements my opinion why he's the shittiest front man ever. Him trying to be all cool with that little spoken word. Fuck that guy, man. And what's that lose against? Uh, you really got me. Dave sounds fine because he's talking through it. And that middle section, listen to what Wolfgang's doing. And Eddie. I mean, they're fucking crushing, man. Wolfgang is a major talent. 
major, you know, and he proves it on this shit. Listen to him, what him and his dad is doing in that middle section. It's mind-blowing. All right. Um, next is Love Walks In. And you know what? I've said this before. There's only two Vangina songs I like, Love Walks In and Human's Being. I do like it. Man, I heard this live version today. Ooh, that sucked. Uh, versus Dance the Night Away. This is by far the worst Dave sounds on this live album. I mean, holy shit. I mean, I, I'm even willing to say that Sammy sounds uh, as bad. <laughs> I mean, Dave sounds fucking rough, man. Super rough on that one. Ooh. All right, next. Run Around. Fuck you. Uh, versus I'll Wait. Uh, Dave is passable on it, uh, but he does fuck up the lyrics, I noticed. But he doesn't, you'd figure he'd really sound horrible on I'll Wait, but he doesn't. Uh, but yeah, he fucks up the lyrics on that shit, which uh, more proof that this shit was not touched up in the studio. Uh, then that horrible song Right Now versus uh, Cradle of Rock, where Dave sounds fine on this one. Uh, but and the band smoking, awesome shit. Um, all right, I mean Dave sounds fine, not great. I'm just saying he's not croaking through it. Uh, next one is uh, one way to suck. I hate that song. Versus teacher. Dave was okay till the second verse. Uh, band is tight, and you can tell Michael Anthony is not on that tape. You know, I think of all the vacation that I miss. Listen to that. That's not Michael on the tape. That's, and you know, I mean, that's kind of a compliment, all you people that say they're taping in the backing vocals. That's a compliment to Wolf and Eddie. It's that you jackasses just can't see it or hear it, actually. You just want to fucking complain about something. Since Michael ain't there, hey, I don't like Michael ain't there. I thought he was fucked over, you know? So what if he went and, like, joined Sammy? And what else is he going to do, you know? Uh, but... It's not him on the backing vocals. No tapes. Bullshit. All uh, right. Next is uh, Why Can't This Be Love uh, versus um, Woman in Love. And again, I'm not, I'm not saying Dave sounds great on this, but I think this is the best he sounds on this whole album, on this song. Um, but uh, what, I don't even make a, I can't make out what I wrote here. I don't know, but all I know is that Woman in Love is, Dave sounds the best on this tune out of all of them. Uh, then the next one is Give to Live. Oh yeah, I remember this song. I'm listening to today. I was like, oh yeah, that's that, that's that song from the solo album Sammy did while he was still in Vangina and he went on to say that it went like double platinum or something. I think it went gold. I'm being modest. Double platinum. Give me a break. Or maybe, no, I think he even said more than that. Uh, versus Romeo Delight. Uh, Dave is not bad here, you know. I like him when he's talking uh, instead of that croaking shit. He sounds fine. Uh, finish what you started. Yeah, uh, I'm glad they, they finished what they started. I'm glad Sammy was out of the band at the end of Ed's life. Versus uh, Mean Street. Uh, this one, Dave flip-flops. Some of it sounds fine. Some of it sounds pretty bad. But uh, the band is on fire, though. All right, best of both worlds sucks. Uh, against Beautiful Girls, Dave is not bad. But, uh, you know, it's not aw awesome either. But the backing vocals without Michael Anthony are fucking awesome. Let's say they are using tapes. It's tapes without ba Michael Anthony. It sounds awesome. All right, next is 316, which is Eruption and whatever. I mean, it's not that bad, though. It's all right. Uh, versus Ice Cream Man. Uh, yeah, he croaks uh, a little on it. And Edward Solo on that song, on that live version, is the reason why I think he's the greatest guitar player that ever lived. All right, next is uh, You Really Got Me, Cabo Wobble. Yeah, I know it's a kink song, but still, it's a song that 
Dave first did, and uh, and Cobble Wobble sucks, and then it just Sammy Sammy just sucks. Uh, versus Panama, oh Dave is croaking all the way through this one. Band is great. Um, all right, don't get fooled again. Wow, and that one is what I heard is completely in the studio, hundred percent. Versus Eruption, the King. Man, once he starts going into the solo after the drum thing, that the speed on it, just fucking mind blowing, man. Edward was king, and I will say this, and it's controversial, maybe I don't know, but I've seen I've seen Van Halen since 1980. I saw you know 1980, 81, Diver Down, 84, and you know the reunions with Dave. I thought Eddie. The best playing I saw Eddie do were in the final tours. Like that 2015 show and Different Kind of Truth. Now the show where Dave reunited, Dave sounded great. I wish they would have released a live album on that. But Eddie was off that night. I will say that. But um, where was I? Uh, yeah, Eruption. All right. Uh, oh, man. Them doing Ain't Talking About Love with Sammy. That is brutal. Ooh. Uh, versus, uh, no, no, it was Jump. It was uh, Jump with Sammy, brutal. And Ain't Talking About Love was fucking brutal, too, with Dave. Ooh, really bad. All right. Then it ends with uh, uh, Top of the World, which is horrible, against Jump, which... Is ironic because the last riff in Jump is the riff they use in Top of the World. And yeah, man, um, with Dance the Night Away, Jump is just almost as bad as Dave's voice. But as you can see, Dave sounded good on some of it, not all of it. But it is a clean sweep. It's a clean sweep. Because I don't give a fuck who you get up there, as long as it ain't Sammy Hagar. To sing those songs, they wipe the floor with Vangina. Big time. For me, I know a lot of you don't think that, and that's fine. You know, if you're more of a Vangina fan than real Van Halen, that's your deal, and enjoy, you know? I just don't feel that way. And you will never convince me, ever, ever, you're, you're, you're you know, I'm talking to the pickle whistlers out there that, that leave countless comments about how wrong I am, but you're never going to convince me, dude. And I'm not here trying to convince you. I applaud you. I have no problem with people liking the Sammy shit. But boy, some of you really have a problem with me hating the Sammy shit. Your parents suck. I don't know why they fucking raised you. Who raised you, poodles? Anyway, I want to thank Kevin for the donation. And hey, dude, I mean, I think I'm pretty sure you would have known, you know, once he sent a donation that there's no way. I don't give a fuck how bad Dave sounds that these fucking classic songs will, you know, let, let me put it this way. If you had Gary Sharon on this live album doing all those songs, I, I'd pick those songs again. I just said, Sammy just, you all know what I feel about Sammy. He sucks. So uh, again, thanks for the donation, uh, Kevin. And if you'd like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. So, stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath, Day to the Grave. And smack them a gob. Bang, bang, pizza skulls.